K98Talk is expanding its lineup for 2015. This means we are expanding our advertising base. Whether you're a startup trying to push through to the next level or an established business trying to supplement your advertising budget, web-based advertising is a solid investment. Thanks to Talk's newest partnership with TuneIn Radio and instant access to our sister station, K98FM, we give you worldwide access at a reasonable cost. Interested parties should email us at sales at k98fm.com. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 800-696-1030. Again, 800-696-1030. That's 800-696-1030. 800-696-1030. Joe had huge problems with the IRS. I knew it was coming. I hadn't filed taxes since 1990. All the IRS letters coming in added up to a nightmare. They got up to like $68,000. My heart started beating fast. It's like, there's no way, man. I mean, I ain't going to be able to do this. Then they stopped his paycheck. So that's when I started making phone calls and found U.S. Tax Shield. U.S. Tax Shield went to work immediately. They just took the bull by the horns. What blew my mind is he called the IRS right then and there. So why is U.S. Tax Tax Shield A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau? Joe knows. They saved me a ridiculous amount of money. If you owe more than ten thousand dollars to the IRS or state, choose the company Joe chose. U.S. Tax Shield. It was the best decision I made. U.S. Tax Shield is the way to go. Life is good. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Call eight hundred four seven one thirty two eighty seven. U.S. Tax Shield. Boo raw. Yes. <laughs> 800-471-3287. Game on where progressives fear us and rhinos tremble. Welcome to the political jungle. I'm JD. This is Stacy. No one is safe. No one is spared. Lock up the children. And the old folk. Welcome to the world of liberative conservatarians. That's right, baby. Welcome to all my political freaks, geeks, and back alley sneaks. It's Thursday, October 15th, 2015, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with J.D. and Stacy here for Game On on that K98 Talk. Everybody right now, you know what to do. Get over to that K98Talk.org. Get in that chat room. Say hello to Stacy, the best naked chat room in radio history. I don't think Al's in it yet. Is he? Oh, oh. there's Al. Al's the naked one. All right, good. Everybody on the tables and get them clothes off. Tonight we're going to be talking Paul Ryan, Mr. Speaker. Meh. Uh, <laughs> Obama. <laughs> okay, I'll say it. The Obama administration goes completely anti-Semitic, anti-Jew, and anti-Christian and makes some equivalency with uh, Hamas over in the Middle East. La- uh, Lamar Odom, we got to lay off that cocaine. Them hookers in that Viagra, <laughs> baby. Oh, God. Uh, I couldn't. J.D. had a whole bunch of, uh, he had a, uh, and, and thank you for everybody for the kind wishes. I had a, a death in the family a few days ago, so the last couple of days have been crazy. I uh, didn't have a chance to get to it. Uh, maybe we might have it for tomorrow's show. Well, for Sunday, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that Denver reporter. We couldn't get the audio, making some news out there, baby, with that Hillary and that Platt Tech, that Platt River Technologies, whatever kind of okay, terrific nonsense she's got, uh, <laughs> she's got working on in her. Uh, None okay, of the terrific. She sent was classified oh, at the time. 
Forget it. Really, we're going to talk about whether Hillary's getting them classified TPP briefings and uh, Netanyahu talking to the Obama administration about fake symmetry. Remember, guys, we are not just here Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern for that game on. We're here at 11 a.m. Eastern standard for that Bloody Marys and Broadsheets. You'll cure for that mainstream media hangover Sundays here in that K98 talk. We do it again Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern standard time. 5 p.m. We are very happy to announce 5 p.m. Fridays. We open that drive time in that WNWNWNJC, 1360 a.m. in that South Jersey, Philly, and Northern Delaware. And actually, tomorrow, 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 Yay! You know, St- Stacy and I have noticed that uh, our very faithful audience that listens to us uh, three hours a week here on K98 Talk, uh, they do have the ability to listen to the live player to hear us on the, uh, on the Philly station on Fridays at 5. So tomorrow night show, kids. Tomorrow night's show is going to be completely different than tonight. We have a very special guest. Those of you who have been with us for some time have uh, uh, know who he is. He's actually our Middle and Far East uh, correspondent, Mr. Joseph Levine. He is a translator that works very closely with the Israeli government, intelligence communities, military, translates them books. What's he got them? Them one and a half, two, two, two books a month or something like that, maybe keep him saying something, something like that and academic papers and everything else and, you know, has one of just – the nicest voices, ladies, right? Right. The ladies in the chat room will applaud that. I, th- I, th- I think I think there's definitely some uh, chat room crushes on on Joseph. So you throw them panties on the stage, baby. You gotta. Ooh. It's not gonna be an orgy. It's a toga party. Let's have sex. Because what what else what, what, what else kind of shtick to do about a guy who calls himself a rabbi on Twitter? <laughs> hey, <laughs> one of the nicest guys on Twitter. Though. He is, and honestly, for those of you who have listened to him before, his interviews when we have him are usually one of the the widely listened to, downloaded, and distributed. He is just he has such an insight from having worked with so closely with the Israeli government, the military, and the intelligence agencies. But not only that, as a resident of Israel, and he has been a great friend of the show. I think this is going to be about the third or fourth time we've had him on. Um, I mean, to agree to be a correspondent for us in that part of the world for Stacy and I is, uh, you know, is a great honor. But uh, he just has he has cultural and residential insight as well that you don't hear a lot with the uh, with the you know. Just as a quick side note, the the I heard a very good point made by of all people in the world, Greta Van Susteren, and what she was saying is if you take a look at you know the way a lot of the mainstream media or, or the interwebs and the blogs kind of handle e, 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 uh, the way they come down on the reporting about the equivalency of Israel. They really need to go there and understand how small Israel is and how surrounded it is by these savages. Uh, remember that, J.D., going to be on that Flipside show, baby, either this weekend, next week, in episode four. You get to that FlipsideShow.com. Get to that channel. Find a Stacey if they're capable provided doesn't carry it. What happens? They have to call and say, we want the flip side show. I love I, I love how you say that like somebody just shot you up with Thorazine. And remember, guys, not now, not now, not now. But after really? the show, you get over to that. We know somebody that needs Thorazine. You, you get over you. <laughs> are you are you are you really are you really going to go? Are you really going to go? I hate this place. Nothing works here. The medications don't work. Uh, I'm your number one fan. <laughs> Y'all crazy bitch, but you so good I'm on top of it when I dream. I'm doing you all night. You're insane. And for you, you know who all you are, special J.D. and Stacey Game On winner of the night. Do us a favor, take that, cut it together, go call F. Lee Bailey and stuff that in your legal briefs, you... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and remember, kids, you get over that Spreaker.com, hashtag J.D. and Stacey, J-D-A-N-D-Y-S-T-A-C-E-Y. Find a catalog of everything we've been doing here on this K98 Talk with that Rick and Dickie Tommy Rick Robinson, baby. Woo! Oh, 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 and keep your ears peeled, guys. We are going to be having some crazy gorilla uh, live promotional events in the South Jersey and Philly area coming up because J.D. figuring, you know, what kind of trouble can Stacey and I get into between an Eagles game tailgate, uh, Ninth and Passyunk on Cheese Steak Corner and Atlantic City. <laughs> you mean Tina's gonna have to be holding the bail money again? Slick's gonna have to be ready for a recon. And yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we gotta thank everybody who's joined us on a Thursday night. There's so much entertainment you have out there. You can grab yourself some of that Thursday night football, but no, you're grabbing some JD and Stacy. So let's turn this into a show, baby. Oh, I'm feeling it. How about you? 
You feeling it? Oh, yeah. You clumsy poop. Uh. What'd you do that for? <laughs> Okay, Here. terrific. <laughs> okay, terrific. Uh, okay. And if I suddenly go on mute, it's because my allergies have kicked in and I have to sneeze. Oh, you have to understand something. You know, so you know, I haven't I haven't disconnected. I just don't want to sneeze at the listening audience. Everybody knows that Stacy's been recovering and has been wishing a lot of well wishes, but sometimes when she's got all that medication, they start mixing together, baby. She'd be like, oh, Robin Williams like it. Seeing like, as how the VP is such a VIP, shouldn't we keep the PC on the QT? Because if it leaks to the VC, you can end up an MIA, and then we'd all be put on KP. I literally had a conversation with you the other day that went just like that. Really? <laughs> uh, let's go back to the naked chat room. <laughs> it's not going to be an orgy. It's a toga party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, every, everybody, all right. Speaking of, speaking of sex, sex, sex. <laughs> Speaking of what? Is it 10 o'clock yet? I want to go home. Get me out of you the are home. studios. <laughs> That's the sad part. Oh, my God. I'm in the studio. I hate this place. Nothing works here. The medications don't work. <laughs> I've been here for seven years. All right. So the candidate right. serious stuff to, now. to take over the, the speaker position is one Mr. Paul Ryan. That's Pa? Oh, okay. Well, a lot of people seem to be imploring upon Paul Ryan to put himself forward for the speakership, but it seems like he's a little hesitant. Is it because vaginas? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think we're going to see those kinds of rumors about Paul Ryan, but I think, you know, when I take a look at it, a lot of the folks that I'm reading that say we would Dr. really Seuss? like him to run are really saying that he seems to be the only person in the GOP house currently that they believe could unite the various factions and at least please the demand or sort of meet the demands of the majority of what they like to call the freedom or no caucus. Well, wait, Many me, of whom I'm wait, a huge fan of. Wait, 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 wait. Let me challenge you a little bit right there because, you know, everybody looks to the sainted Paul Ryan. I, listen, he's a white guy from Wisconsin who looks like he's 12. So everybody gets all, all whipped up about him like he's going to be the next, you know, Hollywood central casting Republican superstar. I don't know where I fall on Ryan. I think he's a smart guy. I think he's a pragmatic guy. Before I heard some of his plans on immigration, I thought he was a lot more conservative guy than he actually is. Um, but I also think that he's a man who wants to run for president. And, you know, CNN's got this big piece where Ryan was looking for, for unanimity and he wants to bring the caucus together and can everybody govern and blah, 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 blah. Quote from the CNN piece, Ryan's allies say he has little interest in courting the Freedom Caucus if he jumps into the race. It says if he does run, his allies say, it'll be because virtually all of the 247 House Republicans are likely to support his candidacy, not be forced to limp the speakership in the same manner as McCarthy did. I honestly think that I think the establishment is looking for a Trojan horse like Ryan because they know that Ryan wants to run for president. And if he does run for president, in my opinion, he's been in Congress for so long. He's the head of the Ways and Means Committee. He's a very powerful guy in D.C. Well, that alone makes me not like him. I understand. You want to know what? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where's the bell? Because they've the bell? done you... such a great job with the purse strings. Oh, I'm so impressed. Not. Right, but, he, but he has, listen, he has, he, J.D. and Trojan, they're saying in the chat room. The, uh... <laughs> J.D. said Trojan. Giggity, 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 let's have sex. <laughs> it's not going to be an orgy. It's a toga party. But I think that very much when he does run, because he is a man who harbors ambitions to run at the top of that ticket, I think he's very much going to be an establishment candidate. He's not going to be able to run as an outsider. His allies are already saying that he's looking to buck and not have to so heavily court the Freedom Caucus. So, you know, I think that Paul Ryan is so. I, I think that Paul Ryan is a guy that everybody thinks is conservative. And that the establishment and the party, I think, is going to try and backdoor into the speakership. Well, I mean, if you've seen his tax proposals, they're not at all conservative. 
No, no. They're, they're I mean, as, as head of the Ways and Means Committee, and a lot of what I've read about him is simply this, that he has a major goal of overhauling the tax code. I've seen how he thinks it should be overhauled, and I think it stinks. <laughs> you know, um, it's, again, a progressive tax with wider burdens, fewer rates, but it puts a huge burden on people over a certain amount, and it, you know, there, there's a lot of potential negative repercussions for it. Mm -hmm. Um you know, I think the other thing I, I've heard about him and what they may be looking for him to do at this point, since he's so um, so heavily being courted, if he does say no, they're going to look for him to be the kingmaker. Because if you look at the list of people who would who have said they will run if he does not, you know, you've got two people out there now, right? You got Webster and Chaffetz. Mm -hmm. Chaffetz. Chaffetz. Chaffetz is like, ch 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 you, know, you know what Chaffetz sounds like? Chaffetz sounds like a weird gay 70s porn. Why, thank you, JD. <laughs> <laughs> only you would make that connection. And it's only because you really wanted to hit that sound clip. Uh <laughs> oh, see, I, I just took a poll. The audience loved it. <laughs> yes. You know, Webster is also in and Webster is the only one that will stay in if Ryan runs. But if you look at who has said they will potentially run, we have Flores from Texas, Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee, Conway from Texas, Klein from Minnesota, Westmoreland from Georgia, Pompeo from Kansas, and Walden from Oregon. Yeah, but Do you know how many rounds of voting if all of those people throw their hat into the ring we're going to have to go through to get a speaker? Oh, you want to know something, but you want to know something, damn it. This goes back to this goes back to a lot of what Selena Zito's been writing about. Jay Cost is great on this with the weekly mm -hmm. standard with the political history. This goes back to people not realizing that you do not have to be an attorney or 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 justice to be a Supreme Court justice. That's just been something that we've had as a standard here in the second half of the 20th century. It's the same way until a couple of weeks ago. I didn't know that you do not have to be a sitting member of the House of Representatives to actually be Speaker of the House. If you go back in our history, you know, I, I didn't know you were going to bring that up. I wish I had it in front of me. But from the show we did a couple of weeks ago about this, you had what? You had like, you know, F.J. Tickle Fritz, uh, Bob the 47th, you know, was, was he went down to the 133rd ballot and this guy dropped out. And I got to tell you something, you know, I, I, I think we fall into the mainstream media's trap of saying we have to elect a speaker. We have to do it now. We have to look like we're unified. You want to know something, damn it? The Republican Party has been so anemic. It has been so limp Johnson, for lack of a better term. It has been so in need of, 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 of an adrenaline shot in the ass and has so seriously let down its base that you have the Tea Party at one point look like it was growing, growing into, into, into something that could splinter off into a third party. Maybe it is time, maybe it is time to have that fight in the public in the Republican Party. Have that fight and have the conservatives stand on their values and principles because you want to know something? Maybe the American people need to see that because they're hungering for change. I mean, Uncle Bernie, everybody's favorite Uncle Bernie. This is Uncle Bernie. Boom, boom, boom. My party. change Bloody. that's putting the current administration on steroids but that's what i'm or saying or viagra right but that's what i'm saying you know uncle speedo is getting 30,000 and more people at his events because of his passion because he's saying what he believes i am not somebody who thinks that this should be quietly taken care of behind closed doors i don't i personally no, neither think, do i and i think right. no matter what the mainstream media and what the establishment wants if ryan doesn't run it's going to be messy the I, only uh, the only advantage i can see for ryan in running in terms of maybe this particular speakership being a better launch to the white house than the speaker of the house position has traditionally been in the past no you think it's better i think it would be an absolute nightmare no 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 what i'm saying is if he can set successfully rein this thing in because a lot of people you know in the mainstream media and they were wrong in 2014 and they may very well be wrong about this are saying if the gop shows that it can't govern it's going to cost them in 2016 and if you look at our current front runner, 
That's a real possibility. If we can't govern and we put hair in there, are you serious? So well, yeah, well, if he can bring this whole thing around and get a few things done in Congress, okay, it, pos- it shows he can lead and that he can govern. So fixing what is perceived by the population, the MSM and, you know, the establishment as a problem within the GOP and that they are ungovernable, whatever that means. I don't think we're supposed to govern Congress. I think they're supposed to govern, well, whatever. Um, it may it may change the perception of what that speakership means on the path to the White House. It may. We, we all know who Stacey was talking about right off the bat. You're so vain. You're fired. 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 But there is a clip. But, but, out what, there. What, what, we got to go break. Clip you got five out seconds. There. Five seconds. Hurry up. Hurry up. Five seconds. Go, go, go. Say, there's a clip out there, split screen. Donald Trump imitation, Ben Carson imitation, watching the Dem debate. Go out and look it up on YouTube. It's freaking hysterical. There you go. Coming back on the other side of the break. Never fails. It's oh, always. Durka, Durka, Durka. JD and Stacey here at K98 Talk. Up on WNWNWN, WN, WN, JC 1360 AM and at Philadelphia, baby. The show, game on. And K98 Talk getting so big. Diamond Dave, where we going? One break. Coming up. Hey folks, Slickery Trigger here. I'd like to take a minute to tell you about Rebel Road Tactical. As a defensive pistol instructor, I've had the opportunity to observe many different holster designs and configurations. And one thing is clear, many of my students won't carry a pistol. Or worse, they'll carry one without a holster at all. Holster designers aren't making holsters for normal people. It seems that most holsters are either an expensive piece of gear designed for Rambo or a piece that doesn't fit or function the way real people need it to fit and function. So, like any good Texan, I decided to learn to form Codex and design one myself, one that would fit the needs of average people. The result is the Rebel Road Tactical CRT Modular. The CRT stands for Carry, Range, and Training. Its thin and lightweight curved design minimizes printing and is adjustable to fit just right for superior comfort and function. Check us out after the show at rebelroadconcealed.blogspot.com. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. This is the most transparent administration in history. Not even a smidgen of corruption. Fact is, we had four dead Americans. What difference at this point does it make? If you've got a business, you didn't build that. The feeling most people get when they hear a Barack Obama speech, my, I felt this thrill going up my leg. I mean, well, I don't have that too often. Steady. It's time to hear the truth about America's biggest challenges. Ricky Robinson, host of America Off the Rails, will tackle the important issues facing America today as he tries to keep America from coming off the track. Get ready to hear the truth every Monday through Friday starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, here on K98talk.com and the Spark Radio Network. Red Nation Rising brings you Town Hall Radio. From a single tweet to three million a month, our community is a force to be reckoned with on social media. So don't miss our show Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern on K98 Talk. Our chat room is our co-host and you ask the question. Join us and be heard. So get ready to sound off on Red Nation Rising Radio. No one else is going to do it for you. Is it wild, wild whisper? Are you conservative in a world of liberal? Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, you're not alone. 
Hey, I'm Daniel Stafford, host of the Stafford Voice, and I'd like to invite you to tune in each Monday, 10 p.m. Eastern, where I'll break down the events of the week, and together we'll learn about how they affect you. So sit back and get ready for the good, the bad, and the ugly of talk radio right here on K98 Talk. Welcome back to Game On with J.D. and Stacey here on K98 Talk. Everybody within the sound of my voice, take your clothes off, get in that chat room, K98Talk.org. Get in there with these crazy, crazy, funky, funky people going crazy about them politics. (laughs) And apparently my sneezing. Remember, kids, we're not just here Thursday nights at 9. We're here on Sundays at 11 a.m. for that Bloody Marys and Broad Cheese, baby. That kill of your mainstream media hangover. Tuesday nights we do it again, 10 p.m. Eastern, here in that K98 Talk for Game On. Then Fridays, 5 p.m. drive time, baby. We're up on that WNWNWN, WN, WN, JC 1360 AM in South Jersey, Philadelphia, Northern Delaware. Get on that flipsideshow.com. Check out for that JD on that episode four. They don't have it. Stacy's going to ask for it. Spreaker.com. Hashtag JD and Stacy and all sorts of that crazy thing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. And yes, for Rebel Road Tactical, for Rebel Road Tactical, for Slick and Tina, who are just absolutely fantastic friends of the show, this is actually your little sound effect. I will get the new Rebel Road Tactical uh, spot up and going. We have been playing the old one uh, on 1360 in Philadelphia. The other thing I wanted to mention, I want to get that R&R spot out of there. We had a new show premiere before us. We have a lead-in with a very good friend of ours, do we not? Very good friend of the show. Tell the, uh, tell the audience a little bit about uh, our friend Bell River's new show. Well, Bell River, right before us, actually had a K98 liberal on. Oh, the Bryce kid. The Bryce kid, yeah. yeah. Bryce wanted to come on our show. Oh, my God. Well, you want to know what? <laughs> Bryce can come on as soon as... Uh... You can act like a man! <laughs> you know, he's got to be, you got to be. Okay, terrific. You got to be at least this tall to ride this ride. I mean, we can't have people so young in the studio. They got the staff turning around being like, hey, kid. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> oh, yes. Our lovely, our, our lovely boss, Rick, Rick Robinson, uh, maintains a, a, a feed where all the hosts from K98 can interact and poor Lou. Or poor Bryce, I'm sorry, just gets hammered in there. <laughs> oh, forget it. Uh, forget First it. I, politics. Play... It's really, I, we really should just stop. He's like 15. Every time I see him, I just want to, I just want to be like, How would you like to mow my lawn? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's a liberal and his uncle or something like that was Milton Friedman. How does that happen? But all kidding aside, he really is a smart kid. But I want to back up. Sure. Take a little time. We got all the time in the world. So the show premiered tonight. I think it's going to sit in our lead-in slot, time slot here. Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern time on K98 Talk. Uh, give a little background about the show, Stace. Well, um, Lou is going to be conducting interviews. She's going to be focusing on policy, politics, and culture. And um, still bringing the guests in. And still um, using the chat room to help her. Talk to those guests. And, and is that, I, I, and what is she, every once in a while, she's going to look at the Bryce, Bryce kid and be like, What is your major malfunction, num nuts? <laughs> I think just, Bryce was just tonight. I bring guest. nothing I to the table. He's a permanent seat. Oh, 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 oh. He was just, oh, you want to know what? I, I feel bad for tearing him apart now. I thought I thought I could have some long stuff. Yeah, can no, we, no, we, no, we, no, no. He's, he's Rick's normal co- co host on Common Ground. Can we go Can we go back into, in, into talking about the Daniel Stafford kid and the heads in the freezer? <laughs> No, you leave Daniel alone. Daniel's a sweetheart. I hate Good this Lord. place. Nothing works here. What is the wrong with you? Don't work. <laughs> Do I need a timeout? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know who me... really needs a timeout? Who? John Kerry. Oh, oh no, but. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Swiss Cheese is going to go over. He's going to go over to Israel and tell the Jews Obama doesn't doesn't really hate him. So, all right, basically, you wouldn't know what. Do you know we... what he said today? What? Oh, I know. No, no, he... we have it. We have it right here. We this was John Kerry uh, breaking the audio about an hour ago. Three simple words: I am gay. <laughs> was that? No, it? <laughs> it's not funny at all. Oh God. 
All right, great. Bring the he show said down. to the Washington Post today, we won't hold Iran deal hostage to hostages. Uh, but he's been saying that forever. Is this about? Uh, uh, oh, Rez- my. This is the Washington Post reporter. Jason Reskin, I think, is his last Re- name. Re- Reslan. Reslan convicted Reslan. Well, you Monday. Right? You got to change everything. Reslan. I said Reslan. No, you said Reslan. Oh, my God. I'm sorry for my flat Western New York accent. Oh, well, anyway, yeah. <laughs> convicted on Monday in Iran on espionage charges. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I think our weakness on this deal and our capitulation to these awful, awful, awful people in Iran. Oh, Durka, Durka, Durka. Yeah, them. <laughs> are actually directly leading to the unrest in Israel because Israel, you know, Israel's opposition does not, if we're not going to take care of our own people, what are we going to do for the Israelis? Probably not much. Probably why Netanyahu went and met with Russia. Well, this is, look, this is, this is the Obama mindset. And, 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 you know, there's a story. I mean, you can find the stories anywhere. This particular one, one uh, was in the Free Beacon uh, yesterday. It was uh, came out about five, four thirty. It was uh, Adam Credo, and the story goes into the Obama administration accusing Israel of terrorism as more Jews Ugh. are murdered. And for those of you who have gotten too caught up in the everyday of real life and the Obama, Obama economy and having to work your fourteen jobs. To pay your bills, there has basically been, you know, at this point, I don't know if it's the second, third, or fifth, the fifteenth, but there is something similar to what was referred to as the Intifada that is rising up again in Israel. And basically what the Intifada was, it was a taking to the streets. Basically just it was the first time that you had more one off lone wolves of Palestinian uh, um, citizens in Israel or going after Israelis in Palestine in the territories backed by Isma, Ismas, backed by Hamas, and backed by these basically these savage groups over there. And you've had a run now of Palestinians murdering Israelis. You've had Paris Palestinians uh, stabbing a family to, to death. And you have, and I'm going to say like this running through a bus. And I don't say this lightly. I don't say this lightly, and I say this as somebody who's cognizant of the fact that we have a show up on AM radio in the Philadelphia market, so I know that our voice is is heard a lot more widely than it had been before, and I don't say this lightly, but I say this truthfully, I honestly believe this. The Obama administration worldview and mindset is basically Jew-hating. And I'm not going to say anti-Semitic, and I'm not going to say anti-Israeli, and I'm not going to say that he dislikes Bibi because Bibi's a pain in his ass and has a speech or, or comes and visits Congress every once in a while to give this, this jerk off in 18, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue a little dig. I think that this administration over the last seven years has proven itself to basically believe that, you know, for all this nonsense that you hear about the Democratic debate and, and, and the, these progressive loons running for president and Black Lives Matter Ugh. and all this other nonsense, you want to know something? Israeli and Jewish lives and Christian lives to a very similar extent are worth less to these people than, that, than those of, 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 of people in the Muslim world. We always have to be careful, and we always have to look for equivalency. Why? Why? When you had when you had Israelis, when you had Israelis who were retaliating against some of these Palestinians, do you know who went and hunted them down? The Israelis. You know who went and put them in jail? The Israelis. You know who were going to try them and make sure they're locked up for what they did to the Palestinians? The Israelis. Do you know what happens on the Palestinian side when these savages and these animals go and they run through buses to Stacey's Point or they murder Israeli children and families in the middle of the night, whether it's stabbing, slitting their throat, shooting, or rocks, whatever kind of nonsense these animals can get their hands on? You know what happens when they go back to Palestine and to the territories? They're not hunted down. They're not arrested. They're not subject to a judicial process. They're lauded. They're praised. They're given money. They're given status. They're treated like heroes and saints by the animals in Hamas and the rest of the savages who 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 are running what was left of the PLO over well, the Palestinian I mean, just territories. Look at, look at what Abbas stirred this weekend or this week. You know, there was a viral video that went out there of a 13-year-old lying on the ground bleeding. Mm-hmm. And he was Palestinian 
and there were people chanting, he should die, he should die, he should die. Oh, this is the one that said, this is one of the three or four things that started this meme the administration's living off of that turned out not to be correct, right? It's a total, Okay. it's a total farce. That's right. This 13 year old, oh, or 15 year old, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ahmed Mansoura, 15 years old. Okay. Oh, First of all, the video said he had died in the street. He didn't. He's laying in a hospital as we speak, eating jello. Fully expected to recover. He was not attacked by police. He was not shot by police. He was running away from the scene where he stabbed a 13 year old boy and another Israeli who are now in critical condition. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was running away from that scene. And his cousin, who did get shot by the police for stabbing people, no small wonder, and he got hit by a car because he was running away. Completely unrelated. Do you remember that show in the 70s and 80s, Small Wonder, with the little robot kid? No. No? Do, 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 I, do, I, get, do, I, do I get a timeout for that? <laughs> Probably. But, I mean, so... The the Palest, Palestinian president, I guess they call him Abbas. Starts oh, well, you know what? Running his mouth he, about this yeah. thing, the U.S. jumps on Israel. What are you doing? You're terrible. You're being too tough. You're being too awful. Da 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 da. Because of a meme that was put out there that was so easily disproved, and since it's been disproved, and the Israelis have worked very hard to say the child is not dead. Here he is. Blah 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 blah. Pictures of him eating. The, sitting up in bed. Meanwhile, the kid that he stabbed is not. But they don't want it. They don't listen. They don't. They, they listen. They don't want it to be. They don't care if it's debunked. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because the greatest superpower on the face of the earth. All right. So Obama, with all these sycophants around him, were just sitting for their next ride on Air Force One and being, oh look, Mister. You know, this guy is surrounded by, I, I just saw a quote from one of the commanders in the field uh, uh, in Afghanistan who said that the, 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 the president does not fight the enemy. He fights his own war plan, and, and, and facts be damned. I want to go back to the Free Beacon article. Obama accuses Israel of terrorism, terrorism, as more Jews are murdered. As Palestinian assailants continue to murder Jews across Israel, the Obama administration on Wednesday accused the Jewish state of committing acts of terrorism, Terrorism. I want you to think about this. Terrorism. This is what old Bubu, this schmeckle face jerk off in the White House and the rest of these asshats at his State Department. We'll get to Kerry in a minute. Terrorism. As the number of Israeli uh, there's a number of Israelis murdered during a streak of Palestine. Just listen to the juxtaposition of these few words in these two sentences. Our administration on Wednesday accused the Jewish state of committing acts of terrorism. Then, next sentence, as the number of Israelis murdered during a streak of Palestinian terrorism continues to rise, the Obama administration sought to, sought to equate the sides and told reporters that, in its view, Israel is guilty of terrorism. Quote, individuals on both sides of this divide are and have proven capable and, in our view, are guilty of acts of terror of terrorism. And this is Admiral John. They're calling this guy spokesman John Kirby. He knows better. He's out of the Joint Chiefs. He's an admiral. He comes out of the Navy. Kirby also said the administration, he's not parroting his own view. He's parroting that of your administration. I'm not the national security team. Kirby also said the administration has obtained credible reports of Israelis using excessive force as it deals with, quote, a rash of terrorist murders. So now we're telling the Israelis that they're treating the, 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 the terrorists too mean. Now, not to be out jackassed, here comes John Kerry said he sympathized with Palestinian, quote, frustration in a statement that accused Israel of boosting the construction of so-called settlements or Jewish homes in historically Jewish areas of the country. Less than a minute, Stacey. I, I mean, I just think that they think it's okay to full throttle their anti-Semitism because they're almost out the door and aren't facing another election. You know, when a, when a group of people inside the cities of Baltimore and Ferguson created havoc hurt people, people died, things were set on fire, okay? The governor of Maryland immediately brought the National Guard in. The governor of Kansas waited too long. He was highly critical. One of the biggest things they're criticizing now is the Israeli military is going to be in the city of Jerusalem. The Jerusalem mayor has said, carry a gun everywhere. The mayor of Jerusalem ran ahead of his own security detail to stop a stabbing. These people are being attacked. And they're being attacked in various lone wolf attacks repeatedly. 
for us to say they should not defend themselves is absolutely ridiculous. When you got the absolutely Oma- ridiculous. It is no different than us sending the National Guard into a city that is being overrun in our own country. And you got Obama getting fed grapes and fanned at 1600 like Zorba the Greek. Ugh. No. Uh-uh. That's too fancy. What, J.D.? The equivalent of the what? I'll say it. I'll say it. Barack Obama is the equivalent, the political equivalent of a Section 8 president at that 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Think you misheard me? Hold on a second. Mr. President, can we get a quote? Hey, where are the white women at? Oh, my God. David Lee Roth's going to hate us for that. Coming back, Lamar Odom, almost dead, baby. Stay away from those cookers and cocaine. One break coming up. J.D. and Stacey here at Game On, K98 Talk. Coming right back. Hey everybody, this is Jason, host of According to Me. I'd like to invite you to check out my show. It's a two-hour show that lasts 60 minutes in... Uh, listen, I hate to interrupt, but uh, one thing I can do is read off a script. Just say, uh, let me be clear a lot. It works. President Obama, I, I, I can handle this. It's a radio promo. I, I'm not green. I've done this before. Did someone say green? Now, Al Gore is here. Listen, I'm just trying to record a radio promo. Do you mind? Now, uh, do you say good things about me on the show? <laughs> no, not at all. But if it makes you feel any better, I rip on Republicans just as much. The AM radio frequencies give off very high levels of radiation. Look, my show is on the internet, which you invented. I mean, can, I, can I just do my promo? I got a pen. I can veto that, you know. I know you got a pen. It's not a law. It's a radio promo. Listen, listen just listen to my show. Barack Obama and Al Gore hate it, so you're going to love it. Here's an executive order. Don't listen to a show. He doesn't like me. He's racist. And he doesn't recycle either. That's it. I'm done. It's According to Me, Wednesdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on K98 Talk. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Wondering why you're up early with us on a Sunday morning making a cocktail? News lately got you drinking? Hung over from the mainstream media by Sunday? We are, and we got you covered. We sure do. We got your hangover cure for those weekly news blues. So sit back, top off your mimosa, and add some Baileys to that coffee. Take a match to your copy of the New York Times. Light, funny, and oh yeah, news with booze. And a lot of laughter. Welcome to Bloody Marys and Broadsheets. If it's Sunday, it's Bloody Marys and Broadsheets. We're your cure from your weekly news hangover. We will never fully understand what we've asked of our military service members or their families, asking them to put themselves in harm's way, to endure it all. But we do understand that it's our turn, our duty, to keep them secure for the rest of their lives. Wounded Warrior Project long-term support programs help our most severely ill or injured veterans live independently, at no cost, for life, so that they might stand at ease. Join us at findwwp.org. K98 Talk is expanding its lineup for 2015. This means we are expanding our advertising base. Whether you're a startup trying to push through to the next level or an established business trying to supplement your advertising budget, web-based advertising is a solid investment. Thanks to Talk's newest partnership with TuneIn Radio and instant access to our sister station, K98 FM, we give you worldwide access at a reasonable cost. Interested parties should email us at sales at k98fm.com. Welcome back, everybody. Hawaii J.D. and Stacey here on that K98 Talk. Everybody in the sound of my voice and game on. Get over to K98Talk.org. Get in that chat room. Say hello to Stacey, to the smartest listening radio naked audience in the business. 
Naked Jello shots, Uncle Petey's body shot table going crazy. Thank you for joining us. Take you into the 10 o'clock at the 10 o'clock hour here on K98 Talk. Remember, guys, not just here Thursdays at 9. We do Sunday, 11 a.m., Bloody Marys and Broadsheets. Back again Tuesday night, 10 p.m. here on Game On for uh, K98 Talk. Then Fridays, 5 p.m., WNWNWN, WN, JC, 1360 a.m. in that Philadelphia, South Jersey, in that northern Delaware. And tomorrow, tomorrow, guys, if you can find that live tuner, uh, Stacy and I will have the NJC show posted. You try to say NJC show. NJC show, C shows. We will have the NJC show posted up on Spreaker tomorrow. We have a very special guest that we're dropping for the 5 o'clock show tomorrow. It will be a completely live and different WNJC show. We're going to end up. She show. Uh, she show. Oh, be careful, baby. Be careful. She show is a lot like. Uh, uh, okay, no. terrific. And we're gonna have a we're gonna have a very uh, you know what I, I'm looking at my notes from the other night's show and I, I have our our, our our very great guest for tomorrow night and above that all I see is dildos in holsters exclamation points boobies and mo, um, <laughs> our very special guest. <laughs> Joseph Levine, uh, he is our Middle Eastern and Far East correspondent. He will be uh, joining us live from Israel, giving us some perspective on some of the unfortunate things we were talking about in segment two. Remember, J.D. going to be on that Flipside show for J.D. and Stacy uh, over on that Flipside show.com. Get to that channel, find us. Stacy, they don't have it. What do they do? They call their cable company and say, give us the Flipside show. That's right. And as always, you get over to that speaker.com after the show. Hashtag J.D. and Stacy. J-D-A-N-D-S-T-A-C-E-Y. People forget the E. And Jason's going to, hold on, he's going to reset the audio bubble. Hold on one second. What did I spell wrong? I said people forget the E. That's why I spell it out because it's so. I know, I know. But the other thing I will also tell you is, um, you know, if you remember our last interview with Joseph, Mm -hmm. he was very clear that Israel was looking for some leadership and support from the U.S., but they were also growing up and realizing it wasn't the only place that they could find that leadership and support. And I really want to get his perspective on why he. Thinks um, his leadership is making a turn to Russia because that is all very recent, up to and including um, the announcement of a coalition in Syria today. It's leverage, but right now it's time for the third segment. We'll cover that tomorrow. It's time for. Uh... I hate this place. Nothing works here. The medications don't work. <laughs> I've been here for seven years. <laughs> So we just had some people in the chat room asking if they had missed any midgets. No, we figured that we were going to swing to the totally opposite end of the spectrum. So Queens, New York own, for those of you who are basketball and NBA players, Lamar Odom. Now, I can't, well, all right, top of the headline, Lamar Odom ingested a dangerous mix of sexual stimulants, cocaine, and alcohol, officials said. Hey, where are the white women at? So basically, what I want to preference this with, do you know who he was involved with after his divorce before this all happened, right? Like, Was it know? a Kardashian? Yes. <laughs> Go to tell her what she's won. Yes, 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 yes. These horrible it people. It had to be a Kardashian. They, these awful people that, that left their father with tits and a schmeckle. Okay, that's, that's, that, that, is, that is who. That is Did who. she hear he regrets it? Regrets it? You want to know what? No, I don't want to hear. I don't now. Now I don't. He regrets hear it. it. No, I don't want to hear it. A couple days You're ago, a I forgot to tell you. Sixty-year-old man who was wearing your wife's dresses for however long, and then sat there and said, "You want to know what? I want to keep the twigs and berries, but I want a pair of tits." I no, I can't. You know what? I, I'm not even doing a segment on this. Screw this idiot and wanting to go back now. Now I wish he would have had it chopped off. This jerk off moron. All right, back to Lamar Odom being not a midget. So Lamar Odom, Lamar Odom idiot. goes to the Bunny Ranch, goes to the Bunny Ranch in Vegas, okay? It's not going to be an orgy. And he goes it's there, a- and he's just like, Hey, where are the white women at? Okay, so what he decides to do is get himself a whole bunch of drugs. And now Lamar Odom is continuing to fight for his life in a Las Vegas hospital. Days after the former Laker and reality television star. Or who is a reality television star with? The one who has the uh, the poison hoo-ha. I'm telling you something. There must be sirens of the sea that sing out from between the legs of these broads. And you get in there and it's just like Medusa snakeheads and razor blades. I mean, ugh. 
Did I just do that? Yeah. Okay. So Lamar ding, 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 ding. Anyway. <laughs> Nobody puts JD in a corner. <laughs> uh, that's not true. So hold on. He, he's, 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 he's fighting for his life. After he collapsed in a brothel after ingesting what Fischl said was a mashup of herbal sexual stimulants, cocaine, oh and alcohol. Okay, terrific. Giggity, 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 giggity. Let's have sex. What? Beaker. What? Yeah, I agree with that, but you have to stop. We have a radio. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put you on mute and take you down. You play with the chat room. Oh, I'm sorry. No, so now, that, so now, I, I now, don't now, 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 do now. that, but that just flew across. I was like, right, what? Right, but I mean, every guy knows that. This, this, is, this is now somehow news to you. You got through 40-something years on the planet and just realized that if every guy had a set of cans, he'd never leave the house and just sit there and play with them until he passed out? <laughs> that was wrong Oh, with my you. God. <laughs> so... Khloe Kardashian, all right, who is part of the hypervisible celebrity clan that we were just talking about, has been at her estranged husband's bedside since Odom was... All right, so this woman led him to Don't the Bunny Ranch, too? cocaine, Viagra, and, 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 and where are you on Lamar? Where am I on Lamar? Mm-hmm. Uh, he kind of kind of got what he deserved, I guess. He had taken multiple 1,875 milligram doses of a package supplement called Reload 72 Hours Strong Sexual Performance. Why? When asked for a comment, Mr. Odom said from the Las Vegas hospital. Hey, where are the white women at? I can't. <laughs> I don't think, isn't he in a coma? Yeah. Yeah, but you want to know what? He's probably he's probably pitching a tent up to the ceiling still. He oh, had, my God. Uh, multiple... Is that what happens when it goes longer than four hours? You know, the Viagra commercial says if you have an erection lasting more than four hours, call the doctor. If I had an erection lasting four hours, I'd call every woman in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Okay, terrific. <laughs> and we're going to move from that to Hillary Clinton. Oh my God! Well, you want to know what's even even better, even even better than Cankles? I mean, because she's just doing the whole Godfather. You can act like a man. What's the matter with you? Before we get into that, did you see the lie a minute? Here are Hillary's top thirteen lies from the debate the other night. Did you see this? I did see this. Oh my God! All right, what were your favorites out of this? Um. <laughs> It really, I, I actually like them all, but, you know, in watching the debate, I mean, they were so, ugh. there were lies about her role in the Middle East. There were you're lies a liar. about, you know, I mean, something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar. No, it's a Hillary clip. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. No, I thought that was an Anderson Cooper clip. clip. Uh, no, that's the one of him and that cocaine, baby. Well, when she, when she was prattling on about, about capitalism and, and oh, here, here's the best. Here, you want to know what the, 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 this might just this might just jump out as the winner. Well, first of all, we got a lot of business done with the Russians when Medvedev was the president. Meanwhile, not the, and not Putin, right? So she still does not realize that he's behind the the, the 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 curtain pulling the strings. And there's no doubt that when Putin came back in and said he was going to be president, that did not change the relationship. This woman, if she gets elected president, should change hail to the chief to. I think she wants the education of radio. <laughs> How about uh, the Gaddafi quote? What? How about the Gaddafi quote? Quote, we had a murderous dictator. We had a murderous dictator, Gaddafi! Who had American blood on his hands, and as I'm sure you remember, threatening to massacre large numbers of the Libyan people, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how she gets up there with a straight face and gets away with it. Uh, oh, you know how she gets away with it? Congressman, Congressman, uh, um, who's this idiot that just did? Richard Hanna in New York. Did you see this? Another Republican? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because oh, yeah, yeah, apparently yeah, yeah. now, isn't he saying McCarthy was bought off by the Clintons? No, nah, you... Uh, <laughs> You know, we sit here and we hammer about, all right, this is how feckless the Republican Party is nationally and how dead it is in the state of New York. There is a Republican congressman who is in more fear of the Clintons in the state of New York than he ever, 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 ever is um, about anything, about, uh, about anything else. He's basically popping off and, uh, and, and, and doubling down on these McCarthy comments. I knew you'd want to ask it. What you're going to see is a conservative speaker it takes a conservative Congress that puts a strategy to fight and win. 
And let me give you one example. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? All her right, enough, are... enough, enough of this idiot. So Hannah, Hannah basically doubles down on that. All guys all suck. 30 seconds, Stacey. Take us out. Oh, and if you missed lovely joshing earnestly's tap dance today at the u.s or the white house presser um apparently hillary got the white house into a little bit of trouble because she said she had actually read the details on the trans-pacific partnership that's why she no longer agreed with it and oops that hasn't been released yet i bet you she wish she had them keys baby girl you got them keys oh i got them keys let's get up on out of here what a two days we've had jd oh good lord tell the nice people what's going on between now and sunday Oh, what's going on? Well, we're having Joseph Levine on the show tomorrow. Live show, WNJC, brand new. Hopefully you'll tune in. And how can the kids find you? Oh, they can always find me at Scott's Fire on Twitter and Stacey Lennox on Facebook. And you can find me, as always, at Game on JD on the Twitters. Alley, Bollyway, Alleyways, Marsville, Shady Situations, The Donkey Show or two. And if I live through it, kids, I'll see you Sunday. I'm looking for you, you Occupy freaks, with your glitter bombs. Bring it on! Bring on the glitter. Everything has changed. Everything has changed in the last few years. Conservatives used to take it, and we're not taking it anymore. When our water heater broke down last month, it was a nightmare. It took five hours for the plumber to show up, and he charged us a couple of hundred bucks just to come out. Then it cost another $1,800 to put in the new water heater. By the time it was all said and done, I felt like I'd been taken. But what else could I do? The smartest thing you can do is get a home warranty from American Residential Warranty. Their home warranties pay to repair or replace all your major appliances when they break. And they will break, and at the worst possible time. Call American Residential Warranty right now for free information on home warranties starting at just pennies a day. Don't wait for your refrigerator to stop running or your ceiling fans to stop turning. Call American Residential Warranty right now. Ask how you can save up to 50% on wash and dryer coverage. Just call 1-800-513-6154. That's 1-800-513-6154. Again, 1-800-513-6154. Call now. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Giggity, 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 let's have sex.